This is a beast, bro. Whew, another hot day on the water, guys. Welcome to CEO Fishing, and this is another episode of Angler Spotlight. Today we got flossy fishermen from It Gets Real. Check it out. This is a beast, bro. Oh my goodness. Bruh. Holy I mean. What's up everybody? My name is Basil Horton, also known as the Flossy Fisherman, and I'm the creator and co-owner of It Gets Real. Hey yo, so Flossy, how'd you get started? Now I first started fishing around six years old at this lake that was down the street from the house I grew up in. It's called Lake Cunningham in east side San Jose. Me and my neighborhood friend, we used to go over there, ride our bikes, catch lizards and whatever. But then we started noticing everybody there fishes. So what I would do is find discarded line and uh, dig for hooks and worms and start throwing my line out there, connected to a stick and catching bluegill. And uh, man, I try to take them back home, put them in my aquarium. And ever since then, man, it's been popping. I mean, the excitement, the rush of uh, just <laughs> doing it that way then later on um, my parents knew that I had a liking for fishing so they told my grandparents and my grandpa had bought me a fishing pole for either Christmas or my birthday I mean they're both really close to each other so I can't tell when but um, I got my first pole and then I was so excited that I got my first pole I almost drowned messing around trying to do the Urkel on the dock and man it, it's a miracle that i'm still here so as soon as i started fishing i almost immediately stopped fishing but um once my parents found out what happened man they put an end to it anyways <laughs> man i'm glad you're still here you know no no use in uh, going fishing and dying you know what i'm saying let's uh just keep it moving keep catching some fish but um fast forward to now well till maybe about five years ago never lost my passion or love for fishing but uh my grandpa passed away about five years ago and when he passed we were going through the garage going through stuff to see where we can donate and whatnot and i stumbled upon some fishing poles so i said yeah no we're not selling these we're not donating these at all snatched them up and uh was just waiting for an opportunity to get back out here so then i hooked up with one of my homies from high school he was interested in fishing and um, started going out there and ever since and it gets real came about because I don't know if y'all know but uh, fish is an acronym for fresh ideas start here fish so take a moment and talk about let's get real so being out on the water with my homeboy from high school he came up with the idea of starting a YouTube channel and uh me being a rapper i like playing with words man so it always just was jogged in my head it gets real and real being with two e's in the l like a fishing reel but um once we created that i wanted it to be more than just a fishing channel i actually wanted to be a platform for entrepreneurs and small business owners to promote their businesses and tell their story while fishing not in your own basic um studio setting or anything i wanted to get people back out here and try to share that piece that fishing brings to me with others so since we started the youtube channel it gets real so many other ideas have came into play i mean when we started the channel i decided to come up with a logo like me as a just a silhouette of me as a fisherman i mean you got your jump man you got jerry west is the nba man you got ralph lauren on a horse I, I never seen anything on clothing that just represents fishing so uh, i got the silhouette of me right here on the shirt and when we were designing that i thought it would be dope if we had a fish that spelled out it gets real 
you know, with myself reeling it in. And we tried to put that together, man, and it just didn't work. But we ended up with a dope fish that spells out it gets real. So when we had these logos, it was just supposed to be for the YouTube channel and our Instagram. But we launched a whole clothing brand out of it. I always had a thing for fashion. You know, I don't call myself the flossy fisherman for nothing, man. I like coordinating and matching and being fly. So it's only right that I had to put something together that I could feel comfortable with rocking. And then it just expresses my love for this thing fishing. So what's your favorite fish to catch, man? Uh, I really don't target one species or have a favorite fish that I like to catch in general. I like to go for them all. Um, but what I have and what I do like, and what I have been catching lately, man, is leopard sharks. And I like catching sharks because they put up one heck of a fight. I mean, I haven't caught anything yet that puts up a fight like leopard sharks. So, I mean, I wouldn't say that's my favorite fish to catch, but it is the funnest fish to catch so far. But uh, I also like fishing for trout. It's no, it's no discrimination, man, bluegills. You know all of that and let the viewers out there know how to find you if you are interested in any of our other content or some of our merchandise you can find us at itgetsreal.com or you can search us up on youtube at it gets real all one word no spaces or you can find us on instagram at it gets real fishing or on facebook at it gets real fishing and now we are on TikTok at It Gets Real, all one word. But yeah, man, till the next one, y'all be cool, y'all stay blessed, peace. Guys, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and have that notification bell on. Check out CEOfishing.com if you want to book charters or you just want to see cool videos. I've got a network of YouTubers. I put together a hand-picked playlist every week of different YouTubers, some that you may know, some that you may have never heard of, just to give other people an opportunity to be seen. So check it out, CEOfishing.com. Guys, see you next time. They say I be swagging and slaying in fashion. Feel like King Arthur, I just laid a dragon. My jig on the bottom, I ain't even snagging. Slay like a savage, we're slicking the best.